Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Dago here, and welcome to Portal Reloaded. This is a fan-made game that unites the first Portal game and the second Portal game kind of in one. It came out in April, and I've been uh, looking forward to playing it ever since I saw the trailer uh, in late 2020. Um, it is so cool. It's a unique concept because, as you can see here, we've got two different versions of the same uh, testing room, and that is because we're going to get access to a third portal, which will allow us to go back and forth in time. Now, how that is going to affect the puzzles, I don't know. I'm sure it's going to make them a lot more difficult. And I'm currently also playing another puzzle game, uh, Talos Principal Road to Gehenna, which is uh, baking my noodle as it is. So either this is gonna really uh, get me get me on the road to solving puzzles and get my brain working in in the order it's supposed to, or I'm just gonna fumble around like I don't know what I'm doing as usual. So without further ado, let us see what this game can do. Here we go. Oh, wow. Hello, test subject. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for... Sixteen days and... Four decades. Hmm. Wow, look at all those test subjects. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing course. The scale of what has been Federal put together... Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of... Sore throat. Or... Blurry vision. Or... Death. <laughs> That's if very you experience on brand. any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. <clears throat> not a huge fan of the Aperture Science logo on the screen. I, I'm guessing that's on the outside of my. Oh yeah. This vacuum tube we will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Salt asbestos curtain. Good luck. I don't know what is it. Oh! Ooh! Ah! Which direction am I going? Down or up? Up. Okay. <laughs> That was very cool. I mean, you could definitely tell that the models of all the different people in the testing tubes were, there was only like a handful that had been duplicated, but the scale of that was pretty good. Um, very, very, very uh, evocative of the original game and how big the Aperture Science facility was. Whee! Oh, this looks good. Now this makes me wonder, did Valve release, um, you know, the, their files? I know that there are some game development companies that will, will release certain materials so that people can either create mods or just make their own things using the same, uh, uh, source materials, I guess. Um, I hadn't heard that Valve had done that, and this is the first game... Uh, well, I mean, I guess it makes Welcome sense. to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. I'm trying to have a thought here. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately... 20 years. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. The okay. choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the Enrichment Center will provide you the means to pursue that option. Okay. The time portal will open and testing will begin in three, two, one. Nice. Okay, so what I was thinking, um, I hadn't, my brain had not registered that Valve might Sensors have done that. indicate that you have not yet stepped through the time portal. Yes, I haven't. I'm working on it. But then again, you have the Black Mesa recreation of Half-Life, which is you another You have still Valve. not traveled through time. I'm going, Please okay. Please enter the time. Welcome to the future. She's pushy. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. 
In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the enrichment center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry, the enrichment center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Find a way to really? exit the chamber. Hmm. Oh, well that doesn't work. Oh wait, unless clicking... Okay. Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. I like this so far. This is fun. Neat, neat idea. Okay, do not drink the water. I'm digging it so far. This Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Usually. <laughs> Oh wow, that's hilarious. Okay, so they, they've got the humor. The creator uh, really captured the essence of Portal. I'm finding this extremely fun so far. Haven't even really done anything. But, uh, but yeah, I am taken back to my first time playing Portal 1. These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. That's where I came from. This is where I must go. There's no run feature. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. Oh. Fascinating. Fascinating. Oh, okay. So... Nice try, but bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, so... Oh. <sighs> what happens if I do this? What has that done me? Ah, brilliant! This future version of the cube. Good. Please continue to the next chamber. Oh, oh wait, you want me to go through the next chamber in the future? Or in the present? Can I do either? I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh no, I have to go through in the future. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but to be fair, you've been interrupting me all game so far. Oh, I guess this still works. Understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply okay. put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. That's time travel, baby. All right, are you gonna shut up for a second? Cool. I actually like that they threw that in there. I um, I did my thesis, undergraduate thesis, on uh, time travel in science fiction, and uh, it was really fun to read. I mean, I read I read dozens of articles. I had read this giant thick tome on temporal metaphysics. Um, it's ruined me a little bit on time travel content just because now I have really strong opinions about time travel and all of the illogical things that people like to throw into fiction. But uh, I agree with that. You can 100% affect the future. Obviously, everything we do 
we see affecting the future just really slowly in real time, but you can't affect the past. Anything that you, if you were to, well, <laughs> I should probably stop. No one cares about my opinions on the past. But anyway, I'm gonna inflict them on you regardless. <laughs> Um, but the way that, uh, the way I see it, and the way, uh, other people way smarter than me have seen it... Oh. Is that, um, if you go into the past, in order to have any kind of, uh... Oh, oh, interesting. I got you. In order to go into the past, you have to be on the same timeline. The whole concept of paradoxes basically requires you to hop into a different timeline, uh, which brings in string theory onto everything else. Um, and uh, you can't have a paradox if the part of the timeline you've traveled to is a place you've already been. So the concept is that if you were to travel back in time to 1835, you were there in 1835. You're just fulfilling the proper progression of the timeline, you know? Because if you, if you go, there's a thing called a temporal causal loop, which is the idea that if you go back in time, you create duplicates of yourself. It's not logical. Uh, anyway, blah, blah, blah. I, I could go on and on. Um, I won't. I should focus on the game at hand. Blah 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 blurb. Let's see here. So I can affect the future, but I cannot affect the past. Oh, I'm currently in the future. Right, so if I move this here, then that materializes there. There's another cube up here. How do I get the other cube? If I pick this up and move it, it does not affect where the past cube, or rather the present cube, is. But if I move the present cube, Interesting. So how can I use that to my advantage is the question. We can't take- You did it again. To clarify, you cannot take a cube from the present with you to the future. But can we take a cube from the future into the present? Is that possible? Ha 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 ha! It is! Okay! Well, here I was just fumbling about. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh! Okay, maybe this is the way to do it. There You're we thinking, go! While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. Editor Dago here, just wanting to chat about this idea really quickly. This is the temporal causal loop that I was telling you all about earlier, except that I slightly disagree with how it is presented in the game here. It does kind of make sense that you can't take a present cube into the future because you are essentially removing that cube from the present, thereby removing it in the future as well. However, taking a cube from the future and bringing it back to the present present, essentially the past, is creating one of those temporal causal loops. This is where we get paradoxes like going back in time and shooting yourself or shooting your grandfather or anything like that. You're implying that you can be in two places at once on the same timeline, which is illogical. So I just wanted to jump back in here and clear that up. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Bye. Okay. So we have Le Box. Hmm.
Ah. I see. Oh. How do I get up there with the box, though? Ah. It's very fragile, I see. I... hmm... Perhaps that's the point. Ah, okay. I think I get it. I think I understand how this is functioning. Yes! There we go. Always remember, if you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. Honestly, this is brilliant. This is so in line with what Aperture Science probably would have been dabbling in, for sure. Okay, so we can bring things from the future back into the present, but if we move it in the if we move the counterpart in the present, then the future version will be affected. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I got it. Uh, I think. Thank you. So that creates stairs. Let me just double check. Oopsies. Oh, I see. I see the problem. Or I use this. Oopsies. Come on. To jump up here. Yes. Very good. Then we put that there. We come back here. And we steal from our future self. Oh no! Wait. Why, why does that not count? Oh, I understand. Okay. Whoopsies. Pop that there. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Alright. Where's my cube? There it is. We gotta get something that's gonna disintegrate. Dissolvable cubes. Come up here. Grab this guy, dissolve that, and boom! Good. By now, you hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect and how cubes behave in different timelines. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. Ooh, something more interesting. This is really cool. I actually feel like, uh, gosh, this, I don't know, um, how aware Valve is of this game. I imagine they're somewhat aware of it because it exists. And now, as an for the moment you've been waiting for, Aperture Science proudly presents. Proudly presents what? Oh, we'll get to that. Anyway, obviously it's on Steam. So Valve is aware of it, um, and I, I wonder. I wonder if the developers ever look at games like the this, and they just, you know, they 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 think, oh man, we should have done that, because <laughs> this feels like something that Valve definitely should have made the or could make. The portal device. This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. 
For now, however, to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. Okay. Oh, beautiful. I miss Portal. I know I already played it for my channel, and I've played Portal 1... A many, 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 many times. Many times. Ooh. Oh. Ah, poopy. Whee! Where am I going? Uh... Where indeed? Hmm. Oh! I understand. I understand. Okay. A portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. Nice. Whee! A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Wait. Will not override its existing location in the present. So you can have portals in both places. Good. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Oh gosh, where am I? Uh... Oh. Up there? Is this right? Oh. Hmm. Please ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. Time portal only. Okay. Goop. Ooh. Okay. Uh, they're throwing a lot. There's no point in using that, I guess. Oh boy, this is trippy. This is trippy. Okay, so I just- I'm mainly struggling with the orientation of where I'm supposed to go. Okay, let's put a blue portal there. Ah, uh, I see. Perhaps? Oh. Okay, um. Ugh. <laughs> no, it's too much! Okay, I can do this. I am just... Uh, it, my brain severely... It hurts. It hurts. Okay. I need to get back over to... How do I get... Oh, no. Ah, no. No, no. It's fine. It was, in fact, not fine. This is a very cool puzzle, but I think it's going to take me a minute to think about, and we are out of time for this episode, so you will have to join me in the next episode of Portal Reloaded to see me solve it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, I think this is extremely cool. I am so fond of this so far. 
I think this is going to be a really, really fun time. The, I mean, the, the spirit of Portal is there. The puzzles are interesting. I'm probably going to get completely confused many times, uh, but so far I'm really impressed. And frankly, I am just so... I'm just in awe of indie gamers and what they can, uh, in indie game developers and what they can create. Um, so anyway, go check out this game on Steam. It is absolutely free. Uh, you can download it and play it yourself. Show the developers some love. And as always, do subscribe for more shenanigans. And I will see you next time. Bye.